What's up, Coach Ryan family here from the Viper Pit in the month of January. I bet you thought when you clicked on this video, you were gonna get some 90s rap music with this chain around my neck. But today we're talking about deadlift with chains. Now, deadlifting with chains is an awesome exercise if you use it appropriately. Chains accommodate the strength curve, which means that you lift the bar up and as you go through the range of motion, more and more weight gets stacked on the bar because the chains come off the floor so that you are lifting more weight when you're at your strongest, which is close to the top of the pole. So it's a great exercise for more appropriately matching the strength curve of deadlifts. It's also good for doing speed work and teaching you how to accelerate. Anyone that's ever done speed deadlifts with chains knows that you have to pull hard and fast off the floor if you want to get all the way to lockout when you've got a lot of chain weight on. So this is just for show. I'm not going to actually use this, but I will show, I'll demonstrate some deadlifts, chain deadlifts for you. Typically, you're going to do these in sets of one to two reps because the chains can get under the bar. You're not going to do high rep sets of chain deadlifts for the most part. Um, simply get set in your stance, get the bar, take the, pull the slack out of the bar before you start, pull the slack, and then pull explosively, and then set it back down. Couple ways to set up the chains, but the first rule is you always have the chain doubled over. So in this case, the carabiner's in the middle, okay? So you're either going to drape it over the bar like that so that the chain falls on both sides, or you're gonna hook it to something, which I'll show you in a minute. What you do not do, the dorky way of doing it, is to just do the one long chain and attach it to the bar like this. There's a lot of people that do this still, and it's freaking worthless for doing what chains are supposed to do on deadlifts. Don't do the one long chain, ever. No purpose, all right? So now I'm gonna show you how to set chains up for deadlift. Okay, so if you pull with a conventional stance, you're gonna to wanna to put, the uh, put the chains on the outside of the bar after the plates. So you'll stack however many plates on you're gonna use, probably not gonna use uh, thick bumpers if you're doing uh, deadlifts with chains. Then you put a collar on to keep the plate secure. And then what I like to do is use this chain loader. It's uh, just a piece made from Elite FTS, www.eliteFTS.com. And um, I'll take a collar and put it out kind of towards the end of the bar as a stopper. Then I'll put the chain loader out. And you want to loop it over the bar and then clip your chains to the rings here with the D-ring. So in this case, I'm using two chains. Then take another collar, put it on the outside, just to keep your chain holder in place. This is a common setup that you can use if you pull conventional. It puts the chains out away from the plates so you're not setting the plates back down on the, on the uh, chain. If you don't have a chain loader, you can keep it real simple. Um, take your chains. Again, remember, never do the one long single chain. Always double loop it, uh, du double the chain over. So if you don't have a chain loader, you can simply take the chain, see how it's folded over, and drape it over the barbell. This is probably the simplest way to do it. The downside is you have to reset the chains because they can slide on you. And you're looking, you could potentially be asking for an injury if you go to pull and all of a sudden 30 pounds slides off of one side of the bar. This is if you pull conventional. If you pull sumo, where your feet are gonna be out wide, it's easiest to put the chains in the middle of the barbell. So you can still use a chain loader, you can still use a drape method, you can just put it inside the plates more towards the middle of the barbell. Again, chains are awesome for accommodating the strength curve of the movement, for teaching you how to accelerate all the way through the full range of motion, and for giving you some variety in their training. It can be pretty taxing on the CNS, so you don't want to use the chains for too long. You can do it on an every other week basis or for maybe three or four weeks in a row before cycling off of chains. And always remember, the closer you are to competition, if you deadlift in competition, a chain deadlift, although similar to a regular deadlift, is a different motor program for the brain. So you don't necessarily want to do chain deadlifts right before your powerlifting event. You're best off sticking to deadlifts in the competitive style that you use with a competition bar, competition stance, no accommodating resistance. I'm Coach Ryan Family from the Viper Pit. Sorry I didn't have any 90s rap to bust out for you today. Maybe next time, who knows? Maybe I'll feel the flow. Have a good one.